Okay, so today we will start chemical bonding. So let us start chemical bonding. So very important chapter. You can say that with respect to chemistry point of view, very important chapter. Okay, so simply uh, what we can say that in chemistry only pure element is not playing role. Compounds are playing more roles than pure element, isn't it? So most of the elements are found in compound form as we all are aware. And even drugs which are manufactured for human being consumption or for anybody else, it is compound only. Yes or no? Okay. So compound formation, how it, took, how it takes place? Only because of chemical bonding. Okay. So bonding is what? Bond means something, you can say, uh, some two or three substances are there and when they are coming in contact with each other. Okay. So they are coming in contact with each other simply, they don't come. There are some rules and regulations are there, some satisfaction, some you can say requirements are met by each of the constituents, then only they are becoming friends. Correct or not? So what it is there? It is just like making friends. This bonding is just like making friends. From 10th standard up to 10th standard, we used to step up in class 1 to class 2, class 3. Most of the students are same. Artists of students are getting changed. Okay, so we don't feel that much up to 10th standard. Sometimes up to 12th standard also we don't feel that much because we create a bond between our friends. And that bond is continuing. That bond is continuing means some of the, uh, you can say, our thinkings are matching with each other. Then only friendship exists. If thinkings are not matching with each other, friendship will not be there. Tell me yes or no. Okay. So that friendship continues only when I am understanding my other part and the other part, my other friend, he or she also is understanding me. Then only that friendship will be continuing for a longer time. Similarly here also that chemical bonding. So here we are talking about some chemicals and some chemicals constitute consisting of, you can say, elements. Elements will be in the form of metals, non-metals, metalloids. Yes or no? So all of them will come to each other and once they form some type of bond, which they become friends with each other, only when some of the specific requirements are completed. Otherwise, they will not form bond. Better or not? And even this type of bonding is applicable even for countries also. You may be aware that country, eh? so we used to say that that country is our enemy country, that country is our friend country, friendly, we are friendly with this country. Yes or no? Okay, so everywhere this bonding plays a major role. Bonding plays a major role. Correct or not? Okay, so that part only we are going to discuss today that like what actually is bonding and what are the rules actually uh, elements they should satisfy to create a bond what are the different types of bond those things we are going to discuss okay so our discussion today it will be limited to you can say introduction part which we have already covered second one we will be uh, defining bonding. Third part, different theories. Then fourth part, some approaches. Some approaches. Okay. So some approaches means some of the theories given by some of the scientists and according to those theories like one I will say that Poisson-Lewis approach approach 
from the name itself we come to know that this will be the name of a scientist, right or not? So it means Fosset and Davis both of them work together. They gave some postcards, they gave some theory. As per that, as the bond formation is taking place. Okay, so that particular approach we will be studying today in this Right? Okay, so in that particular part, we will be discussing about ionic bond or electromagnetic bond. This will be coming under the category of types of bond. Second one, we will be studying about covalent bond. Right, so our discussion will be limited to this one today, particularly. Right. So now, we understood the importance of bonding now. Kritika, please tell me whether you understood the importance of bonding. Yes. Importance of bonding. Okay. So, that importance of bonding, what it says, what uh, I want to say that bond means alone we cannot do anything. It is fact. If teamwork is there, you will be able to do many things. Yes or no? Okay. So there is a need to do teamwork. And that teamwork can be done when full all members of this team are ready to cooperate, ready to coordinate, ready to understand each of them then only this team formation will be there otherwise there will not be any team whether we take as football team or any basketball team or any team in our home also if suppose parents are able to understand us and we are also able to make them understand our thinkings are also matching then only a family can also be run otherwise family also will not be able to run if thinkings are different different Yes or no? So, we are travelling in the same boat. A family is a boat. A family is a boat in which parents will be there, in which children will be there, grandfather, grandmother also will be there, everybody will be there in that boat. Okay? So, if everybody starts moving in different, different directions in that boat, then certainly that boat will sink. But everybody will put concentrated effort towards one side that boat with that boat will be able to cross the river, will be able to cross that sea. So the importance of bonding. Everywhere in our day to day life, daily life also we see that how bond is working in our life. Correct or not? Okay, so there used to be a bond. Now here also that bonding is there. So this bonding actually in chemistry you can say, in chemistry, bonding or coming together, coming together, what of different or various elements, various elements, Consisting of that elements, consisting of metals, yes or no? Then non metals and metalloids. Okay, so in chemistry, bonding or coming together, bonding means coming together of various elements consisting of metals, non-metals and metalloids okay brought uh, you can say the revolution brought a revolution by providing comfortable solutions Providing comfortable solutions, okay, in our life, especially in the field of medicine, especially in the field of medicine, the moment 
medicines are formed, you can say that a great revolution is brought in the field of chemistry. You can say we were in a position to fight with many dreadful diseases. Otherwise, people they were not able to get cured of some of the dreadful diseases. Due to the discovery of this bonding and chemical, you can say a discovery of various types of medicines which are made of chemicals, human life has become more and more comfortable and life expectancy has increased. Correct or not? Life expectancy has increased due to the development of medicine. So importance of bonding is there. Right? Okay, and full chemistry now it is depending on this body, full chemistry. Right. So this was the first part. Second part, we will say that what actually is bonding. Okay. We will go for definition of bonding. Definition of bonding. Right? So now as I told you that uh, earlier also I told that one team is there or a family is there in which uh, you can say family members are having some type of bond. There are some type of emotional bond, relational bond. Okay, these things are there. Okay, human being and human being, human, like a human being some bond is there. Similarly, bonding will be taking place when some type of force will be existing between these two. Not only two, whatever the constituents will be there of that substance, if there are some type of forces are acting, then only something will get combined together. As you are knowing that uh, gravitational force of attraction, what we have discussed earlier, that the two bodies, if they are having masses, they will be attracted towards each other. Yes or no? Okay. So that was gravitational force of attraction. That gravitational force of attraction, F, was denoted by G m1 m2 by r square and this is the universal law of gravitation which was given by newton's newton so this is universal law of gravitation what universal law of gravitation says that if two bodies are having masses then the force between those two bodies which are having mass m1 and m2 okay so this force will be directly proportional to the product of their masses Directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the distance, inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This was the law given by Newton between two bodies. Okay, and this particular force is always attracting. This particular force is always attracting. Okay, this is attractive. That's why if any body you are making it to fall from a certain height, it is moving towards earth. That's why Newton at that time, he saw that apple is falling from that tree and towards ground only it is moving, why it is not moving towards the sky. So at that time only he formulated that something attractive force is acting between that apple and the body of earth. Earth is also a body which is having mass. Yes or no? So on this particular Newton's law of gravitation, you can say full solar system is working. Later on, it was discovered by Kepler, okay, by taking this one. As full solar system is working, means Earth is revolving around the sun. All planets are revolving around the sun. Moon is revolving around the Earth. Yes or no? Okay, so that was Newton's gravitational force of attraction. Right, so always as I told that, it is force of attraction. Similarly, here also, some type of force of attraction is working. Some type of force of attraction is working between the constituent of the substances due to which bond formation takes place. So the definition will consist of a force of attraction here. Understand it? So that force of attraction we need to define here. Okay, so what we can say, we can say that uh, a bonding is the force of attraction. The force of attraction. Okay? The force of attraction which holds various constituents 
various constituents. Okay, together in different chemical species. Means chemical substances. Okay, chemical species. So the force of attraction which holds various constituents. So what are the constituents? Constituents are atoms, ions, molecules. Correct or not? Okay. Constituents together in different chemical species is called bonding. Is called bonding. So you can say that here constituents are atoms, molecules, ions, etc. Right? Okay. Good. Can I have this first point? Those are the approaches. 